local weather authority. Always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. 548 now some nasty storms out there yesterday. Thanks to Keith for our picture of the day from Tuck Farms and you can see that right there that shelf cloud on the leading edge of the storm basically warning you that something's uh, about to happen. Surely some heavy rain and also gusty wind with those storms yesterday. We're going to be seeing some light rain showers gradually moving in from south to north, but you see the bulk of the severe stuff that's going to stay in parts of Georgia and the Carolinas throughout the day today. Let's zoom into the local level. Now you see maybe a few light sprinkles in parts of Montgomery and Giles counties. Otherwise, we're starting the morning out dry, but that's soon to change. Here's the 8 o'clock this morning. Notice Grayson, Floyd, Carroll, and uh, Patrick County seeing some of those showers in addition to Wythe and Bland counties. And then gradually throughout the day, you'll see this overspread the region. This is 4 p.m. and most of us seeing rain, some heavy patches near the North Carolina Virginia line. And as we head into the evening and overnight hours, widespread rain, the yellows and oranges indicating some of that will be heavy at times. Good sleeping rain tonight into tomorrow morning, but again, heavy at times. We'll fast forward to about 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, maybe a few leftover showers. Otherwise, the bulk of the widespread and heavy stuff is going to be off toward the east. Localized flooding is a possibility given the fact that we see one to two inches of rain, but there's mostly a benefit to this rain. Number one, it brings us relief from that stifling heat this weekend. Number two, most of us are two to three inches below average on rainfall this spring. And number three, it's going to lower pollen counts temporarily. There's your relief from the heat today. High temperatures, 60s and lower 70s. By tomorrow, your high temperatures only between 60 and 64 degrees. Back in the 70s, though, by Thursday, we've got another system to keep track of. That's going to bring showers and storms Thursday and into Friday. But once that passes by, we're going to see the wind shift directions and coming in out of the south just in time for Memorial Day. So it does look as though rain chances will drop in time for the weekend. But we start out the week quite wet and also pretty cool. High temperatures only in the 60s in the New River Valley, low temperatures in the 50s through the remainder of the week. Thursday, late in the day, we see showers and storms Friday at least early in the day we see showers and storms but rain chances go down and temperatures come up by Saturday and Sunday with a high Sunday of about 82. Roanoke Valley 69 the high today with temperatures dropping into the afternoon as rain becomes more widespread 63 that's it tomorrow 67 by Wednesday with very limited rain chances storms return late Thursday into Friday with the warmth returning in time for the weekend high temperatures Saturday and Sunday at about 80 to 85 degrees it's 550 now